on the desk, we've got a new power supply. Ta-da! You see, you can tell that by the picture, right? Yeah. So also, what we get over here, though, is it says it's 80 plus. So it's 80 plus, and it's 850 watts. And it's a power supply, but it's a mini power supply. So an SFX, right? So that's what the SFX is. So it's a smaller size. So exactly kind of what we need, because nowadays, PCs seem to be getting a little smaller but we still need that bigger requirements, right? Geez, we get power supplies that I actually have some, they're probably this size <laughs> at 1200 watts. And then now we've got a power supply that's supposedly in this box that's 850 watts that maybe, I bet you it's maybe half the size of this box. So the other cool thing about this one is that we can see from the picture that it says it's fully modular, yeah. Modular, fully, not not a bunch of cables hanging out. And like, well, I can plug in a SATA, or I can plug in, you know, IDA, or I can do this. No, the whole thing is modular, so that's pretty sweet. Uh, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm done talking about the outside of the box. I'm ready to jump onto the inside of it. All right, so here we go. Uh, let me see if I can figure out how to get into this thing. Okay, it's on that side. Maybe. There we go. Okay, nice. Okay. It's always good to have the manual with it. It's got some stuff in there. Actually shows you, shows you the pin out or the pins as well. That's cool in case you want to maybe, I don't know, maybe take it apart and sleeve it. That would be a nice little plus to have. Also, if you're looking to do that and you're sleeving it and you didn't remember how to put things back together right, you can go to Modders Inc. We have a pin out actually guide that goes through. Thank you, Joe. It actually goes through and says, this is how the pinouts are on Seasonic power supplies, Cooler Massive power supplies, Corsair power supplies, a whole bunch of power supplies. So it'll actually tell you which pins go where and what are the fittings. So thanks and check it out. I would just check it out just to do it. So this is kind of nice. So this is actually from uh, an SFX power supply, small form factor power supply to an ATX. So you can actually put it into a larger case if you needed to, or if the case that you're using it only has the cutout for an ATX, then you have that as well. So that's a nice little added feature there. Um, must be all the cables, silicon pack. Remember what I've said about these before, make sure you, you get rid of these. You know, if you have pets, don't lay them around. Not good for pets. And as I was right, as you can see, half the size of the box. So, yeah, look at that. <laughs> wow. Okay. This is an 850 watt power supply. Um, here's my cell phone. <laughs> Getting close to that. Look at this, it's smaller than my cell phone in length. So it's got a sticker here and it says silent standby mode at low loads. Fan will not spin if load is under 15%. So even that this small, which I thought, man, it would probably be running all the time just to keep it cool. Even at this, it's not going to have the fan running unless it's at a 15% load, which is pretty good. Probably what 5%, 10% of the time I'm guessing though, but that'll save a lot of, that'll save some power and that'll save a, uh, some noise as well. Uh, it does have it labeled here. So you can see it's labeled. So it tells you that which is the, you know, the 24 pins and of course the SATA and the H for the PCI and the HDDs and all that stuff. So it almost seems like the only reason the power supply is this size is so that they get all, all the connectors across it. <laughs> Jump into this really quick. <laughs> Okay, so we have all the cables laid out and it's just like a regular power supply. Nice cables. Okay, so these are, uh, they're not pre-sleeved, which is okay, but they're the nice flat type. I, I love that. 
So you've got a couple here for your PCIe. Now I've noticed that there are two for the PCIe, but of course, you know, you've got the one that goes in there and then you've got, you know, the 8686, the same thing over here, you've got the 86. So if your graphics card requires more than two eight pins, you're definitely gonna be able to do that. No, it doesn't come with the 12 pin, but you do have the adapters for the NVIDIA ones. Uh, you get SATAs, so you've got one, two, three, four on that cable. Cheese, another four on that one. And then you've got the two CPU ones. I think there's two CPUs. Or was I mistaken? Yeah. This one says CPU. So this is uh, an, an eight to an eight. Or this one is actually an eight to a split four, four. And there. So then, of course, you got your 24 pin and 24 pin solid one goes to your motherboard, while the two other pins actually go to the back side of the power supply. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, I'm going to plug it in. I'll probably get some just some average numbers and stuff, just kind of show you what the voltage is, make sure everything's copacetic with it. Uh, we don't have the hardware to actually do the deep, deep dives into this, which very few people do. And maybe, maybe I'll take it apart so we can get a quick look on the inside of it. So any of those people who like to see what's on the inside can definitely take a jump in there and go, oh, wow, look at the capacitors that they're using. Oh, neat, wow. You know, not my kind of thing, but I know there's people out there that like to do that. And then what we're gonna do is go ahead and install this into a mini case and see how it really fits and how well it works. So I took the power supply and I put it onto my test system. So I have it all set up there. So I've got, you know, different motherboards and different graphics cards and all that stuff. So I thought that would be like the best test to be able to hook it up to that and really see and put it through its tests. And well, what I found out is it did great, <laughs> actually. So I was really quite surprised on that. So what I did is uh, cranked up the CPU, right? 4.3 gigahertz. And then I ran uh, my 280. My 280 was maxed out, 99% GPU load. And I was pulling about 417 watts out of the wall. So this is 350, easily done. I think it was only pulling, I don't know, 220, 230 off the board, I believe is what, uh, what it was saying. So more than enough and capable of doing this. I even put in my, my 3070, dropped that in there, not an issue. So at 850 watts, I don't think you're gonna have an issue of anything. That's why I wanted to throw it into my bigger system to see actually what I could push to it and see what it would take. It, it said, yeah, come on, give it to me. I can do it. Yeah, 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 no problem. But of course, you know the size, right? So, I mean, all the cables, but the size is where it's, so it's really intended for something that's small like this. So we already did this. This is the NR200 from Cooler Master. And this is actually designed to really go into the, a smaller case like this. I've already got, as you can see, most of the stuff taken off of it. So we can see that it would actually go into here. So you're gonna have an ITX motherboard. You're gonna have maybe some water cooling or some air cooling in there, whatever, depending on what you do. But this this is where it's really going to excel. So I think I'm gonna pop off the top, if I can. And you can really see that this is where it's going to go. So let me take some of this stuff out of here. We're gonna put it in there just to show you how, how it's really designed to be used. So just give me a couple minutes, we'll get it in there and you can see it and we can talk a little bit more about it.
Well, there you go. It was just that easy to put into this and it's just the right size. Of course, everything was made for this because, well, Cooler Master, Cooler Master. But again, it's just the idea of the, the SFX power supplies, what you need and what you need to put it into. Perfect for this, like I said, I have just all the cables that I need, right? So you got the 24 pin, you got it here. So then you get your SATA drives and you get your C for your CPU, right? That goes into the motherboard. And then for uh, you know, typical kind of video card, you get the, the two eight pins. I mean, that, that really not that much that you have to put into this stuff. Like I said, designed very well, right? So your fan, make sure you put your fan in going backwards on this one. But this is what it's done. This is what it's good for. Perfect for what it is. Uh, 850 watts, like I said. So there we go, we got it all in there. Super quick and easy, right? Again, what a great little power supply, I think. I, I tested it on my full system and it did wonderful. So I ran my 8700K to 4.3 gigahertz, 16 gig of RAM. I put my 280 in there, ran it to the max for all the tests. The highest I got, I think was 417 watts coming out of the wall. So we only got, I don't know, a few, a few hundred watts left over. So yeah, you could probably put maybe a 3090 on this, but you know, we'll see. But I did put my 3070 on here, not a problem. So again, it's, it's a nice little power supply, 850 watts, small form factor. It's modular. You only need to use the cables that you have to use, which is great for your small cases, right? I mean, all I got is a SATA, my 24 pin, my PCIe and my CPU one, and that's it. I'm, I'm done. I don't have to have all that extra crap in there, which is a big, big plus. Everybody knows that. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Please like the video. Have a great day and remember to always void your warranty.